for our skill today, we want to talk uh, about uh, Creative Commons and how we can use Creative Commons uh, in our photography. Um, Jeff, tell us a little bit about, about Creative Commons and how photographers can use it. All right, so it's, it's a licensing model that uh, when you post photos to some sites, the one that comes to mind most for me is Flickr. It, they, they make a big deal about choosing what kind of licensing type you want to post your photo out on Flickr under. And you have a bunch of choices. One of them is Creative Commons, and you can choose a, a couple of styles. It, it can be um, no commercial attribution. You, you have some choices on what you want to do. But it means people have the right, you are granting them the right to be able to reuse your photo um, without actually calling and talking to you or sending you a message or anything, depending on, on how you put that kind of license as you go to share it. And uh, this topic was something that a listener of Photo Taco asked about. Um, they, they wanted to know what our thoughts were on using that, that it, he understood that the question, the listener understood professional photographers, of course, want all rights reserved. They don't want anyone to be able to use the photo without their permission. And, and he gets that. But Except also, for me. I, I think I'm moving toward Creative Commons, by the way. Okay. So I'm interested to hear your take on that and why, why you would do that. But, um, but he said for hobbyists, don't we want to have people, uh, especially if they're willing to attribute the work back to you somehow, don't we want our photos out there and seen by the world? And, and I get that. I, I understand. Uh, I certainly, when I first started to do photography and I started to get some photos that were good enough to, to share I wanted so badly to share any way I could. And I was pumping them out on Flickr and I was using Creative Commons licensing. Um, and then I've had a lot of those stolen, a whole bunch of those with no attribution. And that was the only clause I had was Creative Commons attribution. And so uh, they can they, use they, the photo for free as long as they right. give you credit when they use it. Yeah. As long as they credit, at least my Flickr account, like photo by my Flickr handle. Yeah. Uh, something, anything. Something like that, and but they didn't. They, I, I found them. I've done Google searches to find my photos, and they're all over the place. There was one, uh, one company that was making art that you could buy in frames, where they'd added some captions to it, but it was my photo and no attribution, of course, and they were using it commercially. So uh, you know, it was it was a little too easy to have that not be something that was enforceable. And as a hobbyist, um, I, I've gotten to the point now where I care about that. I, I don't want, I'm not so starving and hungry for, for it to be seen that I'm <laughs> willing to have them be stolen like that. So I'm really interested, Jim, in why it is you think you want to go to Creative Commons. Well, so I, I have done the same thing as you, Jeff. I, on, uh, you know, Flickr, you can do the same thing on 500px. Uh, you can, or just on your website, you can just say that your photos are, are you know, have a Creative Commons license. And there are lots of different Creative Commons licenses. Um, yeah. But the, you know, we're, we're, you know this uh, Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial share alike is a popular one. I'm kind of tempted to just allow the commercial, just say, Hey, I, I don't care. Just, just give me credit for it. Um, and, and I had the same experience as you. I put it up there and I found a lot of uses, uh, uses of my photos. Uh, and I didn't find one single time once that the person actually gave me, uh, gave me, gave me credit. But you know, my business is not in selling photos. Uh, my business is improvephotography.com and all the things that we do. Um, and Brew Photography Plus is a huge part of our business now. Um, and it's not, it's not about selling the photos. And in fact, when people do make requests to buy photos and they do happen, oh, maybe seven, eight times a year, I'll get different requests to purchase photos from a company or an individual or whatever. It, it's kind of a lot of work if you don't have a process to be ordering those prints and fulfilling them and making sure the customer's happy with it and shipping them, that kind of stuff. Uh, because that's not a big part of my business, it kind of slows everything else down. You know, it, like like when you see tech companies, as soon as you, they get a new CEO, what do they do? They go cut off half of the business, right? Uh, and it's not that sometimes those areas aren't profitable. It's just that they're distractions from your daily th daily, you know, your grind, the thing that is bringing in the money. And so for me, I definitely see that the last several times that I've sold photos at the end of it, I thought, you know what, probably would have been better if I just said, 
here you go. <laughs> Just have fun with it. Um, not that it isn't nice to have that extra, but I really need to focus on other areas. And so that's what has me interested in doing this. I don't want my photos collecting dust on my hard drive. Um, and so I, I would like to get it. Now, the problem that I've always had, and I want to get you what, see what you guys think about this, is whenever I give something out for free, people don't uh, take full advantage of it. There have been multiple times in the past that we had free items on improvephotography.com, free tutorials or videos, and I would look at it a year later and it's like, man, only like 4,000 people went there <laughs> all year. And so I put it together in an ebook or a product and I put it up on the website and it goes crazy. Everybody's <laughs> buying it. Uh, it people attach a value to things that have a monetary value. Um, and so that's my fear with this um, is that uh, when things are free, people tend to to not value it, sometimes not even enough to uh, give it a link. So is there a way that I could give away my photos in a meaningful way um, without uh, and, and have people still value it? What do you guys think? Well, I think I'm seeing that with the basketball ones I'm taking right now. I'm giving them away. There's, there's no fees attached to it. They they're getting these shots of the kids playing basketball. And, um, I guess I'm getting a little bit with the the exposure, but they are loving the photos. They're very much appreciating it. So I, I guess that's, there are some ways to be able to do that. Yeah. I think like if it is, if they're somehow connected to it personally, such as, you know, their child in the, in that photo, okay. then I definitely agree that, you know, the, the find of value in that compared to, you know, we, we look around today and you see postcards and you look at a postcard and sometimes they're junk pictures and you're like, what, you're selling those for that much. But sometimes <laughs> it's like, that's art, that's beautiful. And you're selling it for just that much. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that just, I don't know, you know, the, the value is in the viewer, the person that's looking at it and how much, you know, how much they value it. Well, interesting. I have some decisions to make um, in terms of what, I've, what I'm going to end up doing with this, but uh, I, I do want to find a way. And maybe it is that I'm just going to set up a separate website um, and, uh, you know, I don't know, or put the photos up, uh, more of them up as stock. I have some photos uh, on stock. I would like to put more up there. I just want my photography to be used is what, right. you know, and, it, and my photos, when I take a photo, it's going to be seen by hundreds of thousands of people often when I take a photo because I get to share them on improved photography and I love that. But but after that, after a photo is old and I've taken it before, uh, I don't want my photos to go to waste. I want to do something with them. And so it's an option that I'm considering. All right. Well, in every episode of the Improved